How is all my crispy bacon doing out there? It is your boy, Crispy Chris, guys, and today we're going to be talking about the backwards compatibility on the Xbox One, and basically what we're going to be specifically talking about is how much these backward compatibility games will be whenever they are released. The first Call of Duty franchise game that is going to be released with like over 80,000 numerous votes on Twitter was Black Ops 2. Obviously, that was like one of the best games out there. That was the game that really evolved and made the community of Call of Duty become such a huge franchise. I feel like, in my own opinion, and seeing how it has grown since then is just crazy and nuts to think about that. So, guys, what I really want to know from you guys and from what I'm thinking about is how much are these games going to be cost? Because I know the original copy, so for the 360, it was $60. But see, it's the same game just being put onto the next gen, so would it still be that original $60? Or would they drop it down to like a 20 or 30 or 40 I feel like, I don't know what I would think or how I would go in as a business perspective because it is an older game, but then at the same time it's a newer game and we don't know if the graphics are going to be completely different or it's going to be the exact same thing besides being able to play it now on the Xbox One. It's something weird to think about, but there, ha there hasn't really been that much of a opportunity to be releasing any of this information because they have to go through all of the details and be able to create this game on the Xbox 360 to be able to transfer over and to be able to be handled on the Xbox One. I don't really know what they would do, but honestly, in a business perspective, I could see it being $60. Then again, I could see it being 30 because... They still want those people to buy the game because it's not even that new. It's an older version, but it's just newer with different graphics. I could just see that being more of a profit deal right there. Or what they could do is do a trade-in with the Black Ops 2 Original Edition on the 360 to where you can trade in your 360 game to get the Xbox One Edition. Kind of like what they did with GTA 5 because that's what I did. I got GTA 5 on the... Xbox 360, and then whenever they said they were releasing it for the Xbox One and PS4, all you had to do is take it in there and get a free trade-in pretty much for that game. It was pretty unique and pretty awesome. So basically, you paid that $60 on the old console, and then you were able to get the new edition for free. Pretty Basically, or not really basically, but you basically got the new edition for the same price as the other one because you didn't have to pay for it at all. That's also really what I feel like they may be able to do, but I'm not sh for sure because the game is so old. I think trade-in value is like $15, so it's not worth as much. But what if they want to trade in now on the Xbox One? Because then that comes to a standstill if they did the trade-in, because then the trade-in, what would the value be? So there's a lot of different uh, conceptions that can be taken here or different kinds of ideas. But I feel like it should be at least like $30 or so, or the trade-in would be really cool. And then if people wanted to trade in the Xbox One Edition, they could get like $10 out of it or something. I don't know, it's just really something that's mind-boggling lately, because I've been wanting to see this game come out, or like newer game, well, older games come out on the newer systems and all of that stuff. It's just going to be a weird transfer, and I feel like it's going to be awesome though, especially for the Xbox One community because now they're going to be able to bring back older games that really were not the best, well, that were the best, and bring them onto the Xbox One to hopefully get those sales up for the Xbox One. Many people don't haven't been buying the Xbox Ones because of their different difficulties and stuff like that, so I don't know. We're going to see what's going to be happening here in the near future. Hopefully, everything goes good for each system. I mean, I love both systems just as much. It's just the PS4 has so much more variation right now. It's so much easier to work with than the Xbox One, and I really did enjoy it. But see, it was a weird way from the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I love the Xbox 360's overlay compared to the PS3's overlay. So it's a lot different, and there's a lot of different things coming out, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like. Comment down below what you guys think is going to be going on with this backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. Is the PS4 going to do it? I don't know. I'll be doing a video about that probably in the next couple days. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty topics. Anything like that. If you guys want me to talk about any subjects, put it down below also. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Let's try and hit five likes. I'll see you guys. Peace. 
been different mixtures of logos, emblems, calling cards, whatever they're called. I don't even know what they are called. But that's honestly a great way 